Hello, this is David Birch at Star Pass School of Navigation, and I want to do an illustration of how to download the high resolution rapid refresh model data uh, from oceans on an iPad. We have videos online uh, about computers and various e chart programs, but let me show you this way because the uh, it is a commercial product and has different pricing structures to get the data and this may be uh, it may be the iPad program is one of the most uh, is, is an attractive option so this is the icon for the program and then uh, uh, the, oh so it's coming right open here this is actually showing this data which is really remarkable data uh, three or four or five times better than we get from higher resolution than we get from anything else. The model's updated every hour and it goes out 15 hours. And if you look up here, say, here's the wind speed and pressure. If you look up here, and then what I'm doing is moving this cursor here over the over the map by just moving the map itself. So you see here, this isobar looks like it's some some value something like 1020, 1021, and then these are about one, one, one millibar apart. So it's very nice data in high resolution. And when you download it, you will get, um, it's in two sections, wind and pressure, and it's in three hour, three hour segments, three hour segments. And so let's do that. And because there's a, uh, it's brand new, and there's a couple tricks that would, uh, make it a little a little harder to figure out how to do it because it's not specifically listed in the in the main index so but oceans has a, a good tech support you could always call them if you have the account and the iPad and you want to get this data so let's start with a, a view I just want to list a couple of special points uh, select so the first of all okay let's go here uh, wait a minute view gribs select gribs select gribs so okay, so this is a page where you select the GRIBS, and here is the key issue here that is not clear from any instructions. The, this uh, HRR data is only in is a 15-hour data. So I want to click this, and the only way you can get to it, if you click here, like oops, I can't click there, but if you click like 18 hours, uh, 18 hours, or you click even nine hours. See, nine hours won't uh, won't give you the option. You must know to click 15 hours at this point. So you clicked 15 hours, done. Now I'll go down and see. I've done it before, so there's an option here. So I can hit data source, and then what you want is the bottom one, very high resolution. That turn that on, and let me just say for now, take uh, six hours of data. Done done and then we also want the pressure high resolution so, oh maybe I did that one let me try the wind done uh, wind done yeah well I guess it did them both at the same time I don't not sure okay done so there you go now here's another so that's a key step this this here must be set to 15 hours next we want to select the grib region and here's where these files are uh, select the grips. No, that's not the one. Select from map. Now these files are very large, and this my mini here is like first generation of the mini uh, iPad mini. There's now full mini four and probably mini five in four or five months. But I think the I have the mini f brand new mini. And so you need the most performance you can get because these are really big files. And so the other thing, too, we want is uh, we want the very smallest region. There's no logic in the world for taking a, this real high-resolution model and looking at a big region. And it would be nice if we could enter this digitally, but you can't. So you have to just kind of grab that and make it as small as you can. As small as you can. That looks like it. Oops small as you can and then grab it and bring it back to over like that's over Puget Sound maybe up a bit right there so that looks like that's about as small as I can make it yeah that's it that's as small as you can go it'd be nice to, again it'd be nice to do that digitally and even make it smaller and just say I just want the North Sound if I'm just going to sail on North Sound for this Remember, it's updated every hour. So if you can get this data, you would get it. You would update it every, you know, every couple hours. 
So that's that. And then you just say that those are the two key points. So 15 hours and then that. Now, uh, uh, view grip. Oh, no, now I'm up at the top. Download the data. Now, we have a fast connection here. If you're out on the water, it'd be slower. Um, but that's, that's the data we just got. And so it's downloading the two win files, 0 to 6, and uh, 6 to... Z no, 0 to 3 and 3 to 6, both wind and that. So there's the small, there's the region we've got, and now there's the data. And, uh, and, th and that's the main thing I want to show. Then you can play with it, but look here. This is now, what, what hour do we have here? What is the time of this? Okay, that's uh, February 14th at 00 Zulu. Now I want to click the next file, which is here. Now let's just see how long that takes to refresh. That's because this is a newer uh, bang. There it goes, like that. And then another one like that. Okay, so that's, that's the way that works. And uh, that's the main thing I wanted to say. And then to look at, if you want to use this really phenomenal data, if you're racing in the sound, for example, this seems to be the, the logical data to use because you can actually just take this HRR data in a computer and then just move it right into something like Expedition for routing. Or you can just view it in some, something like this. And uh, there's an article online that will put all this in more perspective.